we've had a, a long hard look at the, you know the frailties from last year um, with a real priority to make sure we address those because you know we, we had games where we scored 40 points at home and still lost so no we, we had some moments where we defended well but on the whole no it's disappointing the way we defended um, that starts with me um, so yeah no not good enough I think the whole mindset around what we did last year, you know, we tried to contain a lot. We just lived in that defensive, that defensive style and we tried to, we tried to kind of soak up what teams threw at us. I think where we're going this year is we're really going to be the aggressor there. We're really going to go and find teams out the back. We're really going to go and find them, find them defensively and make sure that they don't attack for a long, long periods of time. Um, I think that's the main shift, you know, there'll be details that come on the back of that, but the, the attitude shift has has got to be different. Uh, like you said, you know, I didn't think it was it was good enough. A few things around the tackle, I don't think we, we chopped enough. Um, I don't think we, like I said, I don't think we tried to get the ball back enough. So, so yeah, that's the that's the main shift. You know, we don't want to defend for long, and that's that's going to show this year. Set, 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 go! Yes, King. What do you think, Arth? Got yeah, got yeah. So you taking off from a long way away. Remember what we said? Foot close. You start to ramp this up. You can run a bit now, Frank. Set! Set! Yeah! yeah. I like that, Miles, mate. Yeah. Uh, I, think, I think the main thing about defence is it's a very collective effort. So there's no, um, there's no one way of defending, but every, every defensive system is a collective um, effort. And it's a very much an effort based part of the game. So. Uh, technically, you've got to be good, but the bottom line is you've got to work really hard as well uh, for your mates. So it's a good way of um, checking in almost a barometer of, of how hard the team are working for one another um, and you get some pretty good energy off the back of it. We want to love defending, but we want to love defending to get the ball back. Um, you know, so some of our best moments, you think the last try of last season, you know, Josh McNally, a brilliant defensive set with two points, on the, you know, with two points ahead. In the last minute, that rip and our ability to play um, off the back of that in those transition moments is is outstanding. Some of the players we've got, so but a lot of it is is trust and faith that you know we're going to ask them to be aggressive. If they make a mistake, that's not the end of the world. You know the, the mistake mistakes are going to happen. You know if you defend in a certain way, you, you're going to people might bust you or there might be errors, things like that. It's just then um, the desire to get back to scramble, you know, to work for your mates. Um, and like I said last year, we had that. But we had it, um, it wasn't orga as organised as we needed it to be. So making sure that that, although you say it's scramble, it's not actually not as unstructured as it sounds. You know, there's a method to the madness that, that allows us to still compete um, when oppositions make line break or there's a small bend. Uh, it's, how we, it's how we get back and work for each other there. Hold it! What is it I enjoy? Hitting people, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, I enjoy that contact element. You know, it's always been a strength of mine as you know, growing up I was always, you know, marginally bigger than other other lads, so I think that kind of, you know, slowly started to become the, the best part of my game. And, you know, you could see coming here when I first came to the, to the club, you know, how, how it's different in the professional world. You know, there's so much detail on defence. It's not just hit going and smacking someone off the line. Um, but yeah, no, I just love the, the aspect of it. You know, you're working together to stop people trying to, trying to get past you. And it's, uh, it's real rewarding when it goes well. Defence is something you can get massive energy off. So certainly from a, from a crowd aspect and an atmosphere, um, it certainly lifts the energy in the game. Um, it gives it gives the defending team a, a boost, and um, like we said, more importantly, you get an opportunity potentially to get the ball back uh, pretty quickly, and then have a transition attack and a turnover attack, which is where you want to be. Really, you want you want to have the ball, um, and you want to be scoring points. So uh, that's the biggest thing defensively to sort of hammer home is we're not defending just for the sake of it. We're defending to to get the ball back. You know, one one area that we. We've, we've put a lot of attention on is obviously we, we had five red cards last year, four of which were tackle height. You know, you can't just, it's not just flying out, we've got to work, you know, tackle height. Um, you know, so five reds was just ridiculously high. I think we were the highest in the group. So again, we've got good intent, but it, it's, it's got to be married with, um, with technique and making sure that you don't put the rest of the team at risk. Uh, so tackle techniques, something we've been massively working on. The main focus of that's probably tackle height. Uh, being in a good position to, to be able to complete a tackle. Um, and then you can start thinking about things like second man impacts and, um, and killing you know, opportunities to offload and, and, and to shut the ball down. Um, 
but yeah, the most the most important thing in our tackle technique is probably footwork um, and and tackle height, uh, which is obviously a massively important part of the game now. I think it's primarily looking at our defence from set piece, so making sure first and foremost we organised, um, and then it's a lot about our attitude. You know, our attitude, our intent to to work hard for each other, to scramble. So there's obviously the, the technical clarity of, of your role, your role knowledge, uh, you know, how you defend from rucks, the, the positional play, the, the little subtleties that go with it. But then a lot of it is, is also just attitude. So, you know, with people like Miles, ba uh, Miles Reed, Josh Bayless, guys like that, um, we've got guys who want to get off the line and who want to belt people. Um, and we're just now busy instilling that, you know, that same desire, that same belief, that same attitude and intent uh, within everybody else. If you can bang teams physically and control them physically, then you're more, more than likely to get the upper hands of them in, in defence. Um, and the mindset's got to be about getting the ball back to attack again. Like, we always want to sit in that area where we're attacking them. Uh, that's kind of building on our style. We want to sit in that area. So we want to defend for as short as possible time. So whether we're getting the ball back from blasting through breakdowns and getting counter, counter rucks like that, or we're stealing the ball, we're ripping the ball. Um, that's always the most dangerous ball to go and attack from. So your mindset has to be, you know, we're not going to defend for long. Let's force them into a mistake or force the ball back. So we try and train at a level that, you know, you do things instinctively when you do play, because you don't have an awful lot of time to think. Um, and if you are thinking, you're probably going to be slow to something. So a lot of the time, decision making, we try and embed in training so that when you see a pitcher you can you can go for the ball or when you when you see someone fall a certain way you can make a decision based on that so we try and get it to be a learned behavior um, in training that's why we try and train at a level that we'll be at in a game so under fatigue and under stress and, and, and time pressure um, and and that hopefully translates to the pitch to making good decisions we've gone away probably traditionally from our attack and defense days I think traditionally we do an attack day where for the majority of the, the day the, say you're prepping for a, a match, the, you know, the, the, the playing squad might be attacking for most of the session um, and then vice versa, you might have a defensive day where they're defending for most of the session. Uh, I think what we've changed this year is it's a bit more varied. So um, if, you, if you're attacking and you lose the ball, you're into defence and, and it's that way for the other team. If you're defending and you get the ball back, you get the opportunity to attack more. So I think we're getting away from, getting away from a rigid defence day and attack day and, and getting more into a um, work both sides of the ball, which I think is a good thing because you know that's how the game's played, um, and it's more, it's probably more game realistic for us, um, and it means you don't get into a, a one one sort of minded, um, you, a, a one a one sided mentality in training. So you're constantly aware of if you attack and you get it wrong, the implications of that are you're going to have to defend and react to it. So uh, we've probably gone away from, like I say, that rigid structure, um, but I think we're all enjoying it. Thank you.